tough match, Andre, against a very uh, tough opponent. Is there anything you could have done differently, you think, today? Uh, not much, I would say. Uh, I mean, I wish to don't do a few mistakes uh, that I did when the games where he, where he broke me, but we cannot control mistakes. It's part of the sport. Uh, but the rest, not much. I mean, he played an unbelievable match. Uh, the way he was serving, it's not much you can do. And I think now he have at least all the from the all the players that I played this year, his serve is the best so far. Uh, I don't know. He is really on a high confidence, and he played really well match. Not much to say. I don't know. I think I did a great effort, and yeah. But today he was better than me. Hi, Andre. Um, they say that this surface was a little slower than the one in Paris and maybe also last year here. I'd like to know what you think about because I'm, it's very, as you say, it served pretty well. He, he lost only 10 points in 10 games of service against you. So what was the really key? The, the, I mean, he served only, your return was not uh, the best, or, or what do you think? Mm, I mean, I don't know how was the court in Paris because I didn't play on center court. And if we compare this court with the last year, it's a bit slower, but not much. It's still quite fast. I mean, uh, not many rallies you can see happening. Maybe one rally per two games. The rest is one, two shot, surf, ace, ace. And uh, no, it's his surf. He, he surf white 220 on the just side, white. Normally, everybody surf slice and it's 190. And he find a way to surf 220 white on the juice side. So it's not easy. Even if you, if you catch the direction, when the flat surf ca comes 227 and the slice surf comes to 19, 215, it's tough to just see the ball. Hey, Andre. Um, a few of the other players have said that they think in order to keep up with or get to the level of where Carlos and Yannick are, that they have to be more aggressive. What do you think you have to do in order to get to that level? We'll see. I mean, <laughs> many things. Many things I need to do to to get to that level, and uh, I'm trying. I'm getting better. Today I think was a great example that I can have a great mindset and uh, play good tennis. And then there is the details like uh, serve, return, some approaches, game at the net, and stuff like that. That it takes uh, takes time, but we are doing that. So. It just will take time a bit. <laughs> I cannot improve it tomorrow. I wish. Hey, Andre. Yesterday, Daniel spoke about some of the struggles he was having with some balls on tour. Yeah. So I was wondering if you have a favorite ball that you played this season, and do you wish they would make the ball more similar over the course of the season? Uh, I don't know, to be honest, because I think in general, the core, when I was starting to play, uh, the courts, I don't know if the courts change a lot or the balls, but something changed that uh, maybe both, I don't know. But it changed that much that I don't really care anymore because it doesn't matter which balls you play, it's tough to control them. You feel. Uh, you do more or less the same shots and the ball fly different. So now there is not, like when I was starting, it was like uh, you could feel the tactic, you could feel you need to play like that, like this, you need to choose the right directions. Now, with tennis that we have now, it's two shots, one serve, one shot. Okay, maybe in some important moments, if both players get tight, there is a bit of rally. But most of the matches is uh, just two shots, and it's not even if you have tactic, it's not working anymore because you go to play against like player like Sasha, like Sasha who served 220, and then next shot he play other side, and uh, doesn't matter the tactic you choose, <laughs> you just 
it's uh, you're not able to do it. And uh, when I was starting, I don't know if it was the balls or something, but I remember, yes, I'll, there was in the past, there was really many good balls and the feeling was like, as more you accelerate, as more control you have. Now you feel sometimes as more you accelerate, the ball can go amazing. Next one can go five meters out. And it happens to every player. So I guess that's why many of them complain. Sasha, tell us more about your new routine of going to practice after each match and why you're doing this. <laughs> it's not a routine, but we don't we don't really get much center court time here. So um, I want to, to hit a few balls though. I think today was it was a very good match, but uh, it was a very fast hitting match. And I think um, you know there were there were some long rallies, but I still think it was very fast paced tennis. So I just want to get some rhythm and um, yeah. But overall, I'm I'm happy with the win. Ubaldo Scanagato with tennis.com. Hi, congratulations. Uh, you you lost only 10 points in 10 service games, which is not very usual. Maybe uh, is the surface is to not not so slow as they said. Uh, first, second. They all talk about Sinner mania in Italy. Uh, everybody's crazy about Sinner and so on. But you were an Olympic champion. You won two ATP finals. You are number two in the world. How do you explain if there is not a Zverev mania in Germany? What, what is in your Germany. explanation? Or there is. No, maybe there, there is. In Germany, I think there is, but uh, maybe not as big as in Italy for, for Yannick. But Yannick won two Grand Slams this year, so he deserves it. For sure, um, he's he's the best player in the world. He's number one in the world, so he deserves all the credit he gets. Um, and back to the surface, the surface is very slow. Um, it's too slow for for an indoor hard court. And it, I'm not complaining because I like slow surfaces. I like fast surfaces. I don't really care too much. But I think in tennis right now uh, we're missing game styles a little bit. And the reason why is because I think that you know clay courts and hard courts they're all pretty much the same. They're, they're almost the same speed, with the exception of two terms this year, with the exception of Cincinnati and uh, of Paris Bercy, because they were faster. And I'm missing, I'm missing a little bit the differences in surfaces, because before there was there was a clear difference between a clay court, an outdoor hard court. Uh, some were very slow, like in Indian Wells, but some were very fast, like Canada was always very fast, Shanghai was always very fast. Um, and an indoor hard court. I think you know we, we lost that a little bit by trying to make all the surfaces very similar and almost the same. Um, I think when when Roger was still on tour, um, it was very different. I think you know there was there was big big differences between a clay court, a hard court, and an indoor hard court. And I'm, I'm missing that right now a little bit. Hey Sasha. When you say we're missing game styles, I'm wondering what role you think the ball plays in this. Uh, do you have one favorite ball from this season, and do you wish they would make the ball more consistent over the season than just change the surface more? Um, yeah, the ball is a big subject. Um, and I actually, because I'm on the player council, and uh, the ball was a very interesting subject to me as well, I kind of uh, went into search mode a little bit, and I, I asked companies and I asked for uh, the production of the tennis balls. Uh, since COVID, the, the, all the companies, it's not only one company, so uh, Dunlop was always the best tennis ball, kind of, but they've gotten a lot worse. Um, you know, I always loved uh, the pen balls. they gotten a lot slower, and the reason being is that because of COVID, the, the companies had tried to cut costs, and they're using a different rubber material now. They're using a different material for, for the tennis balls which uh, makes the tennis ball between 30 and 60% slower on average uh, compared to what it was before COVID. So I just generally think the balls in general, it's not only one company, but in general, the balls got a lot worse and a lot slower. Um, they're, not, uh, they're not as consistent anymore. They're not, um, they don't last uh, as long anymore. So before even a Dunlop ball, why I, I used to love the Dunlop ball, but the Dunlop ball was so great is what, when they were new, they were very fast to record, and then they got bigger. But when they got bigger, they were still flying through the air. 
um, because the air inside and the pressure inside didn't leave. The ball just fluffed up. What, what happens now with the tennis balls is that the air and the pressure leaves the tennis ball because of the material. The material doesn't keep it inside. So it's not only that the ball fluffs up, but actually the, the air and the, um, the pressure of the tennis ball drops drastically. And that's why a lot of players now have elbow issues. A lot of players have wrist issues. And that was not the case about 10, 15 years ago. I don't know if I explained it well or understood, yeah. Because I was very interested in tennis ball. And, you know, I'm not somebody that should... I mean, I don't have a reason to complain. I'm number two in the world, and I've had a great season. So it's not, I'm not complaining because of results. I just think that in long term and long run, players' health is, uh, is a big issue with the tennis balls that we have at the moment because they're a little bit like a shuttlecock. So they, they fly very fast through the air the first two, three meters, and then they just slow down. Like there, there's nothing that, uh, that keeps the ball alive, which was very different uh, about five, six years ago. Hi, Sasha. Uh, could you have a chance to watch all the celebration before your match started uh, with uh, uh, Boris giving the number one, uh, the ending number one season uh, to, to Yannick? And I don't know, how do you feel about that? Uh, how uh, would you, in, in Yannick's position and if you were in Germany, uh, how, do you, how would you have feel? No, first of all, I mean, as I said, he, he's the best player in the world. Uh, he won two Grand Slams, won the most Masters events this year, so he deserves to be number one for sure. I, of course, didn't watch it because I was getting ready for my match. I was warming up, I was doing my things because we went on the court straight after. So I didn't know that Boris gave him a trophy and stuff like that, but I think it's a great moment for him, for Italian tennis. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see who's going to receive that trophy next year.